Hello all, welcome to azureteach.net. In this video, let us discuss about blob leases using .NET Core. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on Azure. Blob leases is a mechanism to acquire lock on a blob for a duration of 15 seconds to 60 seconds and sometimes it can be extended to infinite duration as well. Understand this with a real life example. Assume you have taken a lease of a vehicle. As long as the vehicle under your position, nobody else can use it. The same applies to blob leases as well. This image better depicts the use of blob leases. As long as client 1 is modifying the file, client 2 should not be allowed to do the modifications as it leads to inconsistencies. So client 1 have to acquire a lease first and do the modifications and release the lease. After that client 2 can proceed with the modifications. Here I am inside a storage account. I have a blob over here and we can acquire a lease using this button let us copy the lease id so that we can use it later in the program so once we acquire the lease it shows this blob has an active lease and it disables the editing to access the storage account programmatically we can go to access keys show keys and copy a connection string here I have created a console application and added the required package azure.storage.blobs. Here I am declaring static string connection string is equal to I am pasting the connection string. Now I am declaring one more variable static string container name is equal to demo container and now static string blob name is equal to demo file.txt first we have to create blob container client and i have already added the namespace for this using azure.storage.blobs container client is equal to new blob container client and we can pass connection string and also container name to this now we have to create blob client blob client is equal to container client dot get blob client and we have to pass the blob name first let us try to modify this blob without the lease please note that we have already acquired a lease for this blob so it should not allow us to modify this blob programmatically without the lease id now let us create a memory stream to fill the response of blob to the stream new memory stream now blob client dot download to stream Let us use stream writer to append some data to the stream. Writer is equal to new stream writer and pass the stream writer dot write line appended data for lease demo writer dot flush and set the position of stream to zero so that the data will be passed from the starting index now let us use blob client dot upload pass stream and true now let us run this program it should throw an exception it has thrown an exception saying there is a lease on this blob now let us modify this program to pass the lease id for that we have to use blob upload options upload options is equal to new blob upload options and we have to pass conditions is equal to new blob request conditions and here we have to pass the lease id Let us pass the lease ID and pass the upload options. 
over here and run the program. Program ran successfully. Now let us see if the blob is modified or not. Here the blob is modified, but the lease is not released as we haven't added any code. So we have to add more code to release the lease. For that, we can use blob lease client is equal to lease client is equal to new blob lease client. And for this, we can pass blob client and also the lease ID. And we have to pass lease ID. So I am pasting the lease ID over here and lease client dot release. Let us run this program again. Now the program ran successfully. And if you go here, as we ran it two times, it added appended data for lease demo two times and also it released the log now. Now let us modify this program a bit to acquire and release leases using program. I'm removing this code and going over here and I'm writing blob lease client lease client is equal to blob client dot get blob lease client and here we can get the lease id by calling lease client dot acquire and for this we have to pass time span and for time span we need system namespace system dot time span dot from seconds I'm giving 60 seconds and after that from the response of acquire we have to get the lease ID and now here I'm modifying this right line method to acquired lease programmatically and here we have to pass that lease ID and after modifying the blob we have to release the lease we can use lease client dot release let us put a breakpoint over here and run this program now if you go here and see it modified the file but it did not release the lease now let us execute this statement as well. If you see here, it released the lease. That is all in this demo. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video. Thanks a lot.